What's up, Major Ragers? Angry Iceberg back with you. It's been forever since I uploaded a video, but I got a lot of footage in the queue that I need to edit. Stuff that I've been too lazy to go through, but I will have a lot more videos coming up here in the near future. But today I was up to Walmart and they had a bunch of jumpstart packs up there. And fortunately, my particular local Walmart, they sell them for super cheap for compared to like what you can get online. So we got 20 packs of jumpstart to open up. And just to prove that I'm financially irresponsible, I, I got a collector pack of Kaldheim. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. All right, like I said, guys, we have 20 packs of Jumpstart. Now, I'm recording this. I don't know if, you know, like, okay, so if you guys remember, if those of you guys who have paid attention to the channel, I started my Magic the Gathering career on YouTube. My first video that I uploaded with Magic the Gathering content was Jumpstart pack openings. Oh, by the way, I cut myself on a beer bottle. Well, the, the bottle cap today. So, at any rate, my daughter picked out a Minions little thing there so uh band-aid so any rate <laughs> just in case you're gonna see you're gonna see that instead of a bloody finger but any rate so we got 20 packs of jumpstart that we're gonna be opening up again that was how i started my youtube magic the gathering career and so we're gonna restart it with more jumpstart we're gonna re jump start it maybe right uh now that one that actually video went super long and i ended up uh, dividing it into like three different videos so we'll kind of see how this one goes i might end up dividing this one too so you'll i mean if you're watching this you you'll already know and then of course we have a little kaldheim collector pack which is another one where i filmed a lot of pack openings for kaldheim and uploaded those i really i still really like this set i really do i know it's viking themed i'm a viking and well i have a special place in my heart but Again, it wasn't very financially responsible for me to buy this. But I'm going to open it up and see what we have. Maybe we'll get lucky and get, you know, the card. But we're going to set that aside for now. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. There are a lot of cards in the Jumpstart set specifically that hold a fair amount of value, which I think is really, really cool. Will we see any of them? I don't know. I, uh, I've i opened up quite a few of these packs. I mean, well, relatively. Uh, you know, they've opened up somewhere in the neighborhood of 24, 25 packs of Jumpstart. And I've had a few of these. Now, these are... Let me see if I can open these a little bit easier. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's right. We have to go through and uh, get this stuff, too. So, it's going to be interesting. We'll go. We'll, we'll try to go through these a little bit more quickly. Last time when I filmed it, I was actually going through each individual card and talking about them. And, and just... It was all new to me. That was, that was something special. So... But here we're gonna be just gonna be checking out the rares, mythics, and maybe we'll flip through the cards, and then we'll look. We'll be looking for, you know, looking at the lands and stuff like that. See if they and we got any of the special ones. I know there's one. There's a swamp that's really special, but uh, we'll see what we get now. So we start off with heavily armored, and we got the duelist heritage is our rare. Nothing real special is there, but we also got a high sentinel, sentinel of Arishin for another rare there, and then we'll just kind of go through. And check out some of the art on some of these. Bulwark Giant. And just make quick look at these. Thriving Health for a nice little land there. And there is the planes. There's a... That's, I mean, these the these are unique to Jumpstart. So that's pretty cool. So we're starting off with Heavily Armored. All right. Let's see what's next. Again, I'm going to be editing this tomorrow. And I'll have to decide whether we're going to be putting up values, current values... Maybe one day I'll be able to go back and compare my first videos to these videos and see packs that I got duplicates on and see how they how they change the values of those packs changed. All right, so we got Legion. I forget. I don't even know which which one we we want for the Allosaurus or whatever that guy is. Uh, but we got Lena, selfless champion. Let's take a look at this one. Um, so some of these I don't know, so I might take a take a moment to check them out so when lena the selfless champion enters the battlefield create a 1-1 one, one white soldier white soldier creature token for each non-token creature you control sacrifice lena creatures you control with power less than lena's power 
gain indestructible until the end of turn. Okay, six casting costs for that. Uh, so it's kind of expensive, but also got Mentor of the Meek. Actually, I like this card. I ended up, I think I, I have this in my Alesha deck. And so uh, not a bad one here. When another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one if you do so. If you do, draw a card. So Mentor of the Meek not a, is actually a pretty decent card there. And then we'll kind of go through some of these other ones. Self so Savior. That's actually a pretty, pretty good card there. And some of these other ones as well. Another one of those Thriving Hearths. Hearths, Raising Alarm. And there's our special planes. That is actually really cool art. That is really neat art. Of course, the swamp that we're going to be looking for is has it's a Phyrexian, Phyrexian uh, print, you know, like language, the, the, the letters. Phyrexian alphabet. I don't know. Anyway, man, these packs are hard to open. Yeah, I was surprised when I went up there. And now, I, you know, I, I don't really have an LGS within 90 miles uh, of my of my home. And so Walmart is kind of my LGS, unfortunately. Otherwise, I have to order online or, you know, drive the 90 miles to the closest one. So we got Pirates. Corsair Captain. When Corsair Captain enters the battlefield, to create a treasure token. Other Pirates you control get plus one, plus one. And so only one rare in this one. So just kind of pick through, see if there's anything that that stands out to us. And there's our special island right there. Pretty cool. So we haven't really, I don't think we've had any of the big hits. Now I do like, again, I, I would have to go back and <clears throat> review and check out the actual prices of some of these cards. The Mentor of the Meek, like I said, I had to, I think I ordered that one. I didn't have one uh, of my own. So I, I ordered it online for my Alesha deck. All right, so yeah, Kitty Cats. I don't think we're gonna have anything special here. So Feline Sovereign, I definitely have that one already. Uh, enlarge. And so we'll just kind of flip through this. There's nothing really special to talk about for this one. Of course, that beautiful forest. I love, you know, the thing is, I really like Jumpstart as a product. I've actually had friends over and we've, you know, they've purchased packs of Jumpstart and then we just randomly selected a couple packs and just shuffled them together. I also generally, unless I get something really special that I actually want to put into a different deck, uh, I will keep these all together and so that we can you know, just choose randomly a couple of the packs, you know, sleeve them up and play them. And so that's one of the reasons I really like Jumpstart. I think Jumpstart is such a great product and hopefully they do like a Jumpstart too. And hopefully they print it to demand to where the actual demand is not like overpriced, which this is a little bit overpriced, I feel like too, in a lot of, in a lot of senses. So a Johnny's Chosen, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white cat creature token. If that enchantment is an aura, you may attach it to the token. Okay. And a Celestial Mantle. Enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus three, plus three. Whenever enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player, double its controller's life total. That's pretty cool. Six casting costs, but still pretty neat. Uh, Blessed Spirits. We haven't we haven't seen any Mythics yet. Unless I just wasn't paying attention. And these are, no, those are definitely rares. Uh, so we'll go through these. I don't have, I didn't have this one before. So this is a new one. I think this one's a new one. The Legion one is a new one. And I don't know if I had the Pirates one before. All right. So there's our special land, the planes there. Okay. Pretty cool. I love, you know, of course, the art in these, it's, you know, some of it's unique to jumpstart. Some of it's, you know, some of these are cards or reprints. Uh, hope, you know, like I said, we haven't had any of the big hits yet, but we still have quite a few packs to go. So let's just keep cracking and hope for the best so guys you're gonna oh smashing i know this one isn't gonna be that great but uh you're gonna have uh like i said there's gonna be a lot of videos coming up here we go atali primal storm whenever atali primal storm attacks exile the top creature play uh drop card of each player's library then you may cast any number of spells from among those cards without paying their mana cost so that's actually might be pretty darn good and so I'm going to pause the video right now and I'm going to go check. Okay, now I'm back. And no, I was wrong. It's actually a pretty cool card, though. 
it is actually a really cool card but not not there's no real value there so uh furious rise blood rage so little little red action going here's our first red pack so far and i like i've always liked red and then there is your mountain all right so still waiting on some heat here speaking about heat you know it's finally june it's getting pretty warm where i'm where i'm living which is usually june is really nice really nice all right this one's not gonna open nice speaking of but it's been really hot this week and so it's kind of wondering how the rest of the summer is gonna be because we got a little bit of rain last night so that's good all right wizards the wizards riptide laboratory look at that now that is oh wait never mind i my my eyes got all cross cross-eyed i thought that you could add two colorless mana all right so any rate uh so it's add a mana colors mana or you can pay one in a blue return target wizard you control to its owner's hand uh that's that's pretty neat i mean it's not i don't think it's worth a whole heck of a lot but i mean it's 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 a cool little bounce card uh so it's actually worth a few bucks not too bad then we got shipwreck drowner exclusion mage tolerance invocation and so there's there's probably a lot of really cool fun things you could do with this deck or with this half of a deck <laughs> and there is your special island okay i'm gonna have to go through and just check out like which island or which lands specifically have the value of course the big one is that swamp with the phyrexian the phyrexian text there we go that's the the word i was looking for earlier Ooh, look at this one's already kind of open there so I think that Riptide, that uh, that land was probably our most valuable card so far. And then we got lands. <laughs> Underworld Hydra. Underworld Hydra is our first mythic. Reach, Underworld Hydra's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. When Underworld Hydra enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library for, for six mana. I mean, that could get pretty big. I mean, if you're playing, you know, a land deck, obviously. And so, but still, six mana is going to be, it's going to take a little bit to get out. And but by, by the time he drops, it's going to be pretty hard to deal with. He has Rage. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Trample, which would help. But uh, still worth a few bucks. Not too bad there. The old Cultivate. <clears throat> and the Gars Royal. Some pretty neat cards in here. Fertilid. I like that. Actually, ended putting that in a deck recently in a commander deck and the forest okay so not bad there nice little hit there started to run out of room and i don't have to make room here <clears throat> okay Like I said, I should have done research just to see which ones have the cards, which decks have the cards that are really sought after. But, of course, I did not. Spellcasting with Immolation Gyre, another mythic. Immolation Gyre deals X damage to each creature and Planeswalker. You don't control where X is the number of instants of sorceries in your graveyard. I feel like this is a card that synergizes well with some of the stuff that came out in Strixhaven. So it'd be interesting to see how people play with this card, you know, in, in different, in whatever formats that it's actually allowed in. Uh, but another, another almost $5 card there. So not too bad. Double cast. And so we're going to have probably a lot of Chandra's Pyroling. Um, some good, cool, just shock. Good old shock thrill possibility. Another one is a solid, solid card. And there's your mountain. Look at that art. So the your other ones are pretty neat too, but that was your your special your special mountain. All right, good card or good uh, pack there. Dig it. So we're not okay. So some of these, I mean, we started off kind of slow. We're not seeing, like I said, any of the big hits. We're still kind of essentially making making our money back on these packs. Or some of these packs, not all of them. 
All right, come on. All right, let's just do that. All right, goblins. With a Moxus Goblin Grandy. When Moxus, Gr Moxus Grand Goblin Granny enters the battlefield, reveal the top six cards of your library. Put a Goblin Creature card. Or put Goblin Creature cards with convert. Man, it costs five or less from among them onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. When Muxus attacks, it gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn for each other goblin you control. That's pretty cool. Battle Chief. So, let's see. What was Muxus running? Maybe let's do it this way. I won't even have to just do a quick edit on this guy and get it up like right away tomorrow without actually having to go through... All right, so Muxus. Where are you? I'm horrible at looking at things through lists. All right, Muxus. Uh, ooh, that one actually is a pretty good one. Uh, 11 bucks on that one currently. So that's pretty solid. Lots of good goblins in there. So, and then another really cool mountain. Okay. It's a good hit on that one. Muxus. Makes up for some of the other packs. Some of the other packs. All right. Wouldn't mind seeing another Tiny Bones or a Rhystic Study, maybe. I don't know. You know, something. Above the Clouds. Inez, the Gale Force. Is this one of the ones I was looking at that was, that was okay? Let me see here. It's a, a, a Dijin. So flying is uh, for two and a white-blue hybrid. Attacking creatures with flying get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. When three or more creatures you control with flying attack, each player gains control of a non-land permanent your, of your choice controlled by the player to their right. Ooh, that's, that'd be... That's an interesting little card that would uh, probably probably find its way into Commander. And he has. So that could be very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, so not, not worth very much, but still. Could be a fun little Commander card. And then some other, other stuff here. See if there's anything that pops. Pops my interest here. And there's a floating island. I guess that makes sense. Above the clouds for an island. Okay. Nothing real special there. All right. So this guy. Now, it's interesting how how much packaging went into these Jumpstart packs. Especially with the wrapping. I don't know if it was a safety... Not a safety issue. All right. Feathered Friends... Or if it's just like they figure if there's more cards in here, it might get more damaged. All right, Steel Plume Marshal. Whenever Steel Plume Marshal attacks and other flying creatures you control, get plus two, plus two until the end of turn. Okay. Let's see what that guy's rocking right now. Steel Plume. Uh, 54 cents. Not a whole lot there. So we haven't had... Uh, it's been a while since we had a pack where it had multiple rares in it. We started out pretty good, but of course those rares weren't uh, anything special. There's your your planes. Okay. Okay, so we got eight packs left. Certainly going through this a lot faster than we did the first time, right? The first uh, the first series of videos. So maybe we only have one here. We're looking forward to opening up that call time. Pack, even though I know there's probably not a whole lot in there. So we got some lightning action. Lightning Phoenix, flying haste. Lightning Phoenix can't block. So for three mana, you get a 2-2 flyer with haste. At the beginning of your end step, if an opponent was dealt three or more damage this turn, you may pay one red. If you do, return Lightning Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's, that's pretty neat. Now, I, I don't expect this one to hold a lot of value, but it's still a pretty neat card. Again, in this format, that would be a lot of fun. It's, you know, when you're trying, when you're getting flying and you're getting haste, and you can get them out relatively quick. You know, if you're playing this as a, as, you know, just jumpstart as a format in of, in of itself, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, Lightning Phoenix, thirty five cents on that guy. And see what else we have. Probably so. Oh, light, lightning Axe. 
It's lots of lightning bolts. Oh, there's a lightning bolt in here. I'm curious if this version of lightning bolt, this actually this version of lightning bolt is better than the rare. So $2.36 currently on this lightning bolt. I didn't even realize that they had printed a lightning bolt in here. So that is really neat. Little alternate art lightning bolt. That's cool. Oh, they got two lightning visionaries. Was that, is that a mistake? Lightning elemental, good old lightning elemental. I'm curious. So one, I'm just gonna count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so, um, huh. I guess you just to get two of those with that one. So cool. You get a lightning bolt in that pack. That is so neat. I mean, I've got lots of lightning bolts, but don't get me wrong. But having an alternate art, I mean, you figure how many people are going to have that version of lightning bolt? Now, there's there's lots of cool versions out there. You know, the the new Strixhaven mystical archive version. There's the, you know, some of those promo versions. This one's like, oh, there we go. And, you know, of course, the original versions, which are really neat. Uh, but that one, I mean, how many people are going to actually have that? Because how many people are going to be opening Jumpstart? And how many people are going to be looking specifically for that particular lightning bolt? I don't know. All right, dinosaurs, kind of a... All right, so we got uh, Zavala, Heart of the Wilds. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, its controller may draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. Uh, add you can tap pay one green and add X mana and any combination of colors where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Now that is pretty neat. That is a really cool card. Again, would be probably not too bad to run in a in a commander deck. Maybe I don't know. Is anybody running this in commander decks? Uh, let me know in the comments if you would. So for this particular lovely lady Zavala 12 another good hit 12 bucks a little over 12 bucks all right let's see what else we have in here Baruch's uprising also Fred Maul very cool very cool ornery ornery <laughs> ornery I love that word uh drowning Tronodon, and then there is your forest with the dino sword guy there so that was a good pack. So we've got a couple good hits over over eleven dollars. So not too shabby. Still looking for the really big ones. But still, we're happy. We're happy with what we got. We got these are these are decks that we can certainly have some fun with. All right. So why is this? There we. Go. These are kind of hard to open sometimes if they don't really sit right. We got spirits, the shackle geist. I've had this one before, and the rattle chain. So another double rare one there, but nothing super special. Nothing super special in this particular pack. There's your island. Okay, shackle geist. All right, five more packs left. And we pull something really special. See there? I mean, so inconsistent with these little pull tab thing, my bobs. I don't know what to say about that. Unicorns. MEL, the blessed. Exile another target creature you control, then return to the battlefield under its owner's control. Now that's pretty neat. For those, you know, if like you're, this would actually go really well in my Raynar deck, actually, now that I look at it. Uh, I love my Raynar deck. Very underrated uh, deck. Any anyway, rate, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. Uh, what is that? Green or blue? Wait, green or white? Hold on. Yeah, green or white. Sorry. It's hard to see. I don't have my lighting. It, you know, it may look good on the video. The lighting's good. It's not as good as you think it is. Any anyway, rate, uh, if you do put a plus one, plus one counter on it, if it's a unicorn, put two plus one, plus one counters on it. Now, that one's pretty neat. That one's got to be a pretty decent hit, right? That's got to be a decent hit because I mean, just just the the blinking ability is a pretty dang good. Yes, that's a twenty two dollar card right there, boys and gentlemen, ladies <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Almost a thirteen dollar card, so very good hit there. Uh, and then we also have Blessed Sanctuary, prevent all non combat damage that would be dealt to 
to you and creatures you control. When a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white unicorn creature. Blessed Sanctuary. Very... I mean, this is actually a really good good pack here. What is Blessed... I mean, uh, another, it's another couple bucks. So, you know, we're talking almost a $25 pack here. Right, Mare. So that was that's been our best hit so far. These uh these uh, these uh, packs came in in a package of four. So that one there just paid for the whole package. So very cool looking planes there. Okay, so that's one I'll probably pull out, sleeve up, and put away. Uh, both of those probably, and some of these other ones. Most of these other ones I'll just kind of. You know keep it the the ones that are pretty or better ones that are uh, more value i will put out and pull out and put in the, the old binder just to just to you know because i mean it's not very often that we we play jump start you know that we play this format uh but you know and just you know some running some of these other ones would probably be okay archaeology Ooh, i haven't seen this one before scholar of the lost trove Flying when Scholar of the Lost Trove enters the battlefield, you may uh, cast target instant sorcery or artifact card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If an instant or sorcery spell cast this way would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Actually, wow, that is that is a pretty neat. I mean, it's seven casting cost. Uh, but you know, with blink abilities, that could get pretty pretty good. So again, this is one of those ones that you know it wouldn't be that bad i mean i don't anyway, I, was like, I was thinking about my i was thinking about my rainar deck again this this would kind of fit in there but i don't know how well because there's not a whole lot of instances of sorceries that i'd be worried about definitely not too many artifacts but that's still a pretty cool effect that is a really cool card all right so let's see how much it is running according to tcg players 61 cents so nothing real special there buried ruin Okay, uh, it's not a bad card. I mean, it has a good effect. Six mana to add three, so Dream Store, Dreamstone Hedron. So six mana, you can get a a three. You know, add three casting con or three mana to your mana pool, or you can sacrifice it and draw three cards. Six mana to do that, but of course you're trying to. Ooh, the Juggernaut, dude. I don't have a Juggernaut. I I, I need to get me some old school Juggernauts just because they they have a special place in my heart. Uh, but I think this is the only Juggernaut I own right now. So that is actually really cool. Old school, uncommon. Buddy of mine used to thump me over the face with it all the time. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, either... Yeah, some, some good stuff in here. And Thrymy Isle. And there, look at that island. That is really cool. So I like that pack. I mean, it's a cool pack. It's one I'll, I'll keep together for our Jumpstart Sessions. Uh, but I might actually consider, uh, no, not that card. I was going to say like putting it into my Raynar deck, it, it, it would be cool because with blink, with the blink effects in my, in the Raynar deck, but at the same time, I don't think it would be that useful in, in most situations, most games, stuff like that. So, uh, we got the cats again. This time we got lurking predators. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it into the battlefield. Otherwise, you may put that card on the bottom of your library. Don't expect that to be... Then we got a Feline Sovereign. So two rares in that one. And large. We might as well go ahead and take a look at Lurking Predator. Just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> so Lurking Predator. Okay, six bucks. Okay, I'm, I, uh, I was wrong about that one, so... Pretty solid, pretty solid card there. So again, paying uh, for the plus, you know, playing more in the pack. So pretty good. And then there's a forest. Go. Okay. So yeah, that's one will probably break up a little bit. We'll have to see. All right, we're running out of room here. I need to find spots here. And then we still got to open up that Kaldime. I should have put the ones where the valuable cards in separate piles just so that when I put these away I can separate them out and pull the cards out that I want to keep you know keep safe keep it secret keep it safe but all right see if we can finish strong here 
finish this video strong. So we got a couple more packs here. We got walls. Probably not going to be doing that. Towering Titan, though. Towering Titan enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the total toughness of other creatures you control. Sacrifice a creature with, the, uh, with Defender. All creatures gain trample until the end of turns. Another six casting cost creature. And I know, I think I, I do have this one to be honest and i've i've actually played this one in our in our random uh jumpstart nights and it's a fun card certainly this is a fun deck but i don't believe yeah well four dollars four dollars and twenty cents <laughs> huh anyway uh assault formation each creature control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power target creatures with defender can't attack this turn though it didn't have defender yes i definitely have played this one in our jumpstart nights and this deck is a lot of fun so uh, I will be able to pull this one apart because I do have another like full one available to me. So, which is a probably what I'll do is pull the ones that I I have doubles of the self formation. Another dollar, another dollar for that. So not too bad. And then we'll kind of look through see if anything else stands out here. Wall of blossoms. I thought that was a different one, but um, some good stuff in here for sure. And then the pretty that beautiful forest. Look at that. All right, last pack of jump start, and then we will open up that package, that collector's pack of Kaldheim, and then we will say goodbye for this video. I think we'll just go ahead and just keep this as one video. It'll be a little long, but that's okay. That's okay. If you've been watching this long, I do appreciate you. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And even if you comment on it, that'd be dope too. All that kind of leads to engagement. It helps me know that you guys want to see more content. Uh, and it just takes a second. Just you can do it right now if you want while we're while we're waiting here. And then we got another smashing. So this one's gonna be kind of a not so great. Volcanic salvo. The spell costs X left, where X is the total power of creatures you control. Volcanic salvo deals six damage to each creature up to two. And okay, blah blah blah. And then furious rise. So this pack not finishing strong, but. We did get some good hits. We did have some good hits. Short sword. That. Uh, just plus one, plus one. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, see, fling. Yeah, we got some cool cards, and again, that same mountain. So we didn't get we didn't get the cool the cool swampy, but that's okay. Uh, we we got got some new new fun jumpstart decks to play with. So that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. This unicorn again. This is gonna be our best hit right there. M.E.L. The Blessed. Solid card. All right. Let's do it. Kaldheim Collector. Back. Beautiful treasure hanging out on the back. Now these... I don't know what the expected value are of these packs and what we can find. And you can already... There's already some... some oh my. Look at that. Already some cur curvature going on. But that's okay. So we got Comus Faithful. We got Raiders Carve. Saruf Packmate. Skier Shield Mate. I love to open up these packs, by the way. The the Kaldheim packs, the set boxes, everything. Elven Bow, uncommon. Blood Sky Berserker. Beautiful. Oil Snow Covered Mountain. Can always use those. I need to do more with snow covered stuff. Hero of Bredegard as our commander card for for this particular pack. I don't know if I kept this one in. This was it would have been in the Raynar deck. And I don't know if I, I think it'd be in the Raynar deck, right? Or was it? Wait. Yeah, because Raynar was white blue. Yeah. Anyway. Um oh, whatever. Oh, oops. <laughs> Tyrite Sanctum. Eh, okay. Uh, this here I like though. Old Growth Troll. I, I actually really like this this card. It's not there's not a whole lot of value here, but it's still a really neat card. Old Growth Troll is underrated. Uh, the Tyrite Sanctum for our full full art little thing. Uh, not something that you see a whole lot of use in. A, like I remember when when Kaldheim first came out, uh, and if you guys if you guys remember Nick from some of my other videos, he was he was using this to really good effect uh so it, it could is potential there 
if you're building around legendary creatures uh but you know for the most parts whatever then we've got igna rune eyes and showcase uncommon and jorn god of winter and another showcase rare and narfi betrayer king that's a i mean i always liked that art so getting a foil is pretty cool so oh whoa yes there we go i mean now now this one's not going to be too valuable there's our own kaya and the extra token that's probably not too bad all right so this here i don't know that it's really all that specifically valuable uh but what i will say about it, it is really cool <laughs> I do like Turgrid. I do have a Turgrid deck, so I might actually use, I might replace, um, I might replace my current. I use I use the alternate art version of Turgrid. Now, now this one is a foil, so let's I'm just curious. Now, not a whole lot of value in this particular pack, uh, but we'll see what Turgrid is running. I think Turgrid's a very underrated card. I'm really surprised that she hasn't seen. I think she's only. Only really got up to like five, maybe six dollars at the at the height, and then it kind of dropped back down. But I haven't looked at I haven't looked at Kaldheim prices in quite a while. So let's see here. Turgrid got a fright showcase. This is at, is at six dollars, and so the foil's probably not that much more, unless I'm wrong. So the foil actually the foil is listing at fourteen eighty four. So uh, pretty solid, pretty solid right there. Uh, but again, like all the other ones, is really nothing else really particularly special. Like I said, Narfi, I think, is a really cool-looking card. Uh, Jorn, God of Winter. Uh, again, with the... You know, with the alternate art. You know, there's... There were pe there are people that were... There were people that were trying to make this god work. Because you attack and you untap all your snow permanents. So it's not, not a bad card. And it's a cool-looking card. But the old girl troll, really like that. Um... And again, that Narfi, I just, I just really like that art for Narfi. That's a good card. So, so there we go. There it is. This, this video is brought to you by me because I paid for it. There's, no, I don't have any sponsors. I don't have a Patreon right now. If you guys want to see me do live content, I am on Twitch, Angry underscore Iceberg on Twitch. If you want to come and look, and we play some Destiny, we play some Rocket League. Sometimes I open up packs. We do have the the Dungeons and Dragons stuff coming up here relatively soon so keep an eye out for that i don't know that i'll be doing anything with modern horizons 2 i'm just unfortunately i am completely priced out of that but if you enjoyed it again thank you so much for your support i hope that uh, you take just a second to subscribe to the channel hit that like button uh you know put in turn notifications on do all that stuff to help you know the channel grow if you you want to hear hear my voice some more and you want to see more cards opened up uh, and some other stuff. I will have more content being put up. I, I did stream a bunch of my pack openings, so I'm going to probably edit those together and throw those up as well. If you enjoy that sort of thing, we'll see. But until next time, guys, my name is Angry Iceberg. I appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Peace and love.